What is up, you guys? Gonna go here. Welcome back to the channel. This is your Summer Slam 2024 review. <laughs> you know, Summer Slam over the years. JD, shout out to JD, big bro. He used to call it Summer Scam for obvious reasons. You literally got scammed for your money attending those shows. But this year was none of that. This was Triple H's Summer Slam, and I think he killed it. First of all, quality over quantity always. Tony Khan, take notes. Nobody wants to sit for over five or six hours watching something. You're gonna get bored and tired. I thought this show, everybody was in and out. Um, I still feel well, I, I don't feel tired, <laughs> which is, Q's plus. Big homies back. Romy. Feel me? Um. CM Punk. Going into the show tonight, I had, I knew that a lot of people were going to see, well, they wanted to see CM Punk fail because a lot of they don't like him. And for whatever reason, I was about to make a politic joke, but I refrain myself to not say it on my platform. CM Punk, like it or not, he draws, like, people will tune in to see the guy. History showed it. The AEW stuff needs to stop with Punk. <laughs> they try to bring in Shane McMahon for the simple fact that they they can't get nobody or had nobody since Punk left to fill that void. That's just a fact. So why you guys are still wishing failure on this guy? Like, what he's done in WWE, nine times out, I'm pretty sure he's going to be one of those main people involved in NXT. So stop it. The tribalism is ridiculous. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Welcome to my channel. I try to talk to you, not at you, like a lot of channels. I'm really good at this. So I've been doing this since the pandemic. So I know what I'm talking about. I learned from the best. Any videos you miss on the channel, they are there. I covered everything in regards of Shane and Tony Khan meeting. Um... I may drop something tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to start with Rhea and Liv. I knew Liv was going to win. I <laughs> Sometimes I got a, what they call it, suspension of disbelief or whatever that term is. Obviously, Rhea should have went in and destroyed this chick. This chick weighs like fucking 80 pounds. Rhea is a beast. Realistically, Rhea should have killed her, but they telling a story. I said this multiple times. Rhea and Priest are going to turn face. Finn and them going to remain the same. Judgment Day is still going to be a thing, just without those two. Dominic needs to stay healed. Dominic as a face doesn't work. This guy legit gets real heat. Kind of like Sammy Guevara in a way. But I'm not comparing it to I'm just saying in terms of getting like real heat. Like people really don't fuck with the guy. Or in, in terms of wrestling, I'm sure Dom, the people fuck with Dominic outside of wrestling. He's very mysterious, son. So the respect is going to be there. I'm talking about his character. This was this is probably the, one of the best things on Monday Night Raw outside of Punk and McIntyre, which I thought they killed it by the way. Shout out to Seth. Um, Bailey, and um, what's her name, Nia. Yeah, that was probably the weakest match on the show, if you ask me. Cody and Solo was horrendous to sit through. Those two got no chemistry at all. I was bored. Um, Punk and McIntyre 
I do see this probably being a triple threat match. Their next encounter with Seth being involved. Because Seth has nothing to do outside of this. Leading to their next match. Which obviously we all kind of see it being hell in the cell. We'll see. Um, other than that, I thought SummerSlam was good this year. A lot of moving pieces. A lot of moving pieces. Going into the next show. And we'll see how this goes. Their momentum is too hot. WWE's on fire right now. And I hope they just keep on capitalizing off of this. See you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.